It's the very, very third day of September 2023. Nuclear industry has most of the species now under eradication protocols. It happens to include me and you and your loved ones. It's okay. TV will make it all better. All the lies will make it all go away. That's how it works. So Korea is going to file a complaint with the International Monetary Organization. No. They're going to file a complaint with the Marine Safety Agency from the United Nations. The very people who told you it's only tritium coming out of buildings that don't even exist anymore. If Tokyo does not follow its original plan regarding the release the contaminated contaminate the release as so it never happens, right? That's what they're saying. We don't follow the original plan, which went out the window uh, five days after the tsunami. Buildings are actually gone. Don't mind Ernie Gunnerson and Mega Gunnerson. Their public relations firm is disguised as anti nuclear. They want you to think it looks like that instead of what it actually looks like, just like so Korea is doing to you and, and America and Canada and China and Taiwan and, you know, when is this planet going to get it together and just use your voice to weapon that everybody has? It's legal to have a voice. It's illegal to have aircraft carriers, right? To use your voice, it's a weapon that they can't defeat. They can't blow up truth. Civic groups sue Japanese Prime Minister Kishida for the planned discharge, but they've been discharging it nonstop. It seems like the only people that are in the media are the people that are regurgitating the bizarre lie that the buildings are intact. Does that look like it's 190 feet? Is there anybody left on the planet with common sense? The Jap civil group has filed a complaint against the prime minister in TEPCO. <laughs> the Twilight Zone actually exists for causing potential, potential damage and debts due to professional negligence to the discharge. So they're talking about if they dump it in the ocean, which has never stopped for 12 years. They won't acknowledge it's been going on for 12 years. They're talking about it might happen instead of what's been going on. Every story. Uh, and the media is running all of these people, and they're only allowed to talk. If they talk about tritium, then they can get in the media. Media is not showing you these pictures. Environmental group calls for the halt to the discharge. How do you stop something that's been going on for 12 years straight when you refuse to acknowledge the buildings are actually destroyed? How do you, um, how do you have a conversation with that kind of logic? Lester hurts, but I'm confused because the buildings are actually gone. Why are we talking about what might happen rather than something productive like, I don't know, what has happened? Is that silly? Am I stupid? Am I, am I just, have I lost the plot? Is telling the truth silly? Is being a lawyer the norm? That's what the, that's, that's the Hulk. Oh, he's too angry. Look at the industry. Spider-Man done the same thing. These were created by the nuclear industries. Your parents can't be heroes to the children anymore. The grandparents can't be heroes. Can't replace all these fictional characters. He's immune to nuclear meltdowns and atomic radiation. The Wolverine, the very, very popular Wolverine. And you got some superhero 
moniker now is attached to everything. You just gotta wear a mask and you're you're a superhero. Even if you're a villain, you're still a superhero. So how does grandma and grandpa and mom and pa and uncles and aunts compete with something like that? And the word hero doesn't even exist, for goodness sakes. Now you got GoPro heroes and guitar heroes. And you can't compete with all of this in your children's and your grandchildren's life. So the time you become adults, do you have nothing but contempt for the real heroes that made it possible them, for them to exist on the planet? We got to go back to the days of holding scumbags accountable and manipulating and destroying humanity's definition of a scumbag. Am I missing something here? Right, we used to get rid of our problem, no problem after that. Now we gotta wait for some super duper fictional, latest, greatest Marvel comic to show up before. Nobody's allowed to do an action without asking Hollywood first, I guess. Fake news is not true from pilots, heart attacks, cars, and a plane crashed dead fish in Fukushima. Fake news. Pretending that doesn't exist, that doesn't warrant it, a debate. But pretending that the effects from the actual meltdowns had some adverse side effects does. As the wastewater crisis continues, and the resulting in the meltdown of three reactors, that's, that's what multiple, we've never seen on the planet in human history. Chernobyl gets a six-part series on TV, Netflix and Reels, but something a thousand times worse gets no mention. 2,000 children missing in Maui after a bizarre firestorm that's most likely a directed energy weapon, gets no mention, but 2,000 die at 9-11 and you, you flattened multiple countries with uh, tens of millions of people. You can't have a future if you're gonna do stuff like this. It's okay to be honest once in a while. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to be difficult. Unleasing a merit of environmental political challenges. That's, that's, to, that's what a meltdown now warrants from the media. That's meltdowns. Nobody even knows what a meltdown is. Oh, a meltdown. Unleasing a myriad of environmental, and you gotta, you gotta stuff in political challenges for Japan as if it doesn't matter. As part of its strategy to manage the post disaster situation, Japan started discharging, started, 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 started discharging, did they? This is 12 years ago. You, you really think they got control of that puppy? That's a real life Medusa. Prior to the release, prior was 2000, March 10, 2011, because after that, it's hemorrhaging radiation into the environment forever. These are cat, and by the way, that's reactor three. Uh, that's mixed oxide fuel. That is, that's a special nightmare for the 8 million species. And I guarantee you they're feeling it, all of them. Prior to the release, Japan conducted thorough checks, and especially focusing on the presence of the radioactive isotope, the bastard tritium. I, I, I'm just curious, what about uranium and plutonium? Doesn't that ever get a mention anymore? Does that even exist? Everybody's up to screeching the word tritium. Our worst nightmare, and we predicted this over the last six weeks as we watched this play out, and now 
horrifically it's come to fruition. And they even take it to a whole different level. Seawater, seawater, air to facility show tritium levels less than 10 becquerels tritium. Uh, they, that's because uranium and plutonium drowned out the signal of tritium, see, Dana? Yeah, but they're not measuring for all that. Oh. So you can't, what I'm saying, I'm just mimicking myself, is that you can't measure tritium when it's saturated with the curium isotopes and the uranium and the plutonium daughters and the thousand other fission products that you you have uh, a more responsibility to worry about tritium. Uh, significantly lower than United Nations threshold of 10,000. United Nations calls your shots and everything. How many times are you allowed to fire today? How much are you allowed to put in your tires? They call the shots and everything. They rule the world. They got endless subsidies companies, endless like the World Health Organization, ERPA, UNSCURE, UNICEF, the scariest corporation in history is UNICEF. These bands have heightened because this is a military industrial complex who created the orphans in the first place and you're gonna put them in charge of them. Now people look themselves in the mirrors, including me, it's bizarre sometimes. I look myself in the mirror because what can I do for the victims of this? endless disease factory misery, misery machine known as nuclear power. These bands have heightened worries among Japanese fisheries group who fear irreversible damage to the reputation. This is not a fisherman's narrative. You know, moron's narrative, maybe. But this is the industry's narrative. The media is fabricating the fact that the fishermen are constantly worried about reputational damage. There's not a single fisherman out there that has ever uttered that f uh, phrase in a narrative. And safety perceptions of their products. That's a uh, nuclear industry construct, right? We see it everywhere. This is highly unlikely. That's the only way a fisherman are going to interpret it. This disgusting, despicable International Atomic Energy Agency, which is a corporation of the United Nations, which is a military industrial complex, confirmed through independence, because they got 195 militaries, I want to be honest, through independent on site analysts that the tritium, the tritium, the tritium concentrations in the discharge water was below operational limits to tritium. The uh, International Atomic Energy Agency confirmed through independent on-site analysts. No, they're, they didn't take independent samples. They're not a regulatory agency. TEPCO gave them the couple of samples that you do have. That was only this year. They've only been there five times, and all five times were in 2023. Uh, it's just terrifying how the media works overtime to cut your throat, and professors in universities. We got Smith, really? You got James Smith from Portsmouth University again? He said it can be theoretically be safe for consumption given its diluted state. If you took James Smith to Fukushima, and try to get him to swim in it, he'd claw your eyes out trying to get away from you. He would lose his mind. He, he would literally try to kill you to stop you from putting him near the reactors. Because the reactors are actually destroyed. And anybody that says they're not, and that is harmless or is safe, shouldn't they be taken down there and forced to work on it? How did we lose our common sense? Because that's death of humanity now. The fundamental issue boils down to the tritium, the tritium. 
tritium. From multiple nuclear meltdowns, the only thing you're worried, you're supposed to worry about, according to them, is tritium. But you're supposed to worry about a thousand radioactive isotopes from the fallout. And this has only been going on about six, seven weeks. And if you don't speak out now, this opportunity is gone. And shortly. This is the coup de grace against the 8 million species is to pretend it's only tritium and have no independent or no ability to control the death of our planet due to a perpetual follow from the most catastrophic nuclear meltdown in human history is four reactors at the one time and eight fuel pools and each fuel pool got at least six reactor cores into it. It's, and it's all gone. And they're, they're, what they're doing right now is they're setting the stage so you can't question them ever again about where everything is to it. Oh, well, we're legally allowed to put it in the ocean. What do you mean legally? You haven't stopped. The buildings are actually destroyed. They're claiming only 2.2 grams got out of the buildings that had at least 10 to 15, 20 million pounds per building because you don't have a repository anywhere on the planet. You had decades of reactor cores stored at the top of the buildings. You can't, you can't believe nothing they tell you. That's the frightening part. Some stress the need for more comprehensive studies to gauge the potential impact of tritium. It's hard to comprehend we're only talking about tritium. It's bad enough to cover it up the melted reactor fuel pools. So they successfully covered up the loss of the fuel pools in reactor four and the loss of the fuel pools in reactor three. That's 30 times more than were in the reactors. They covered that up. You know, it's all got removed. It's all in storage. That's the official story. Let them get away with that. Now, now they just said, fuck you. And now it's 2.2 grams. Don't worry, though. It's all in the thousand tanks, so fuck off. We'll take care of it. You're not, you don't know nothing about nuclear. So shut up. Pay your taxes and fuck off and die. That's what you should be doing with them. Environmental groups like Greenpeace, Greenpeace, pointed to research suggesting that tritium, tritium, so even Greenpeace, who I've sent these pictures to probably a hundred times, are claiming there's only tritium getting out. New data proves nuclear energy is safer than you think. Felicity, 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 I can't even pronounce it, because I don't care. Nuclear energy is emerging as a stable, reliable, and green, really green. Under the Paris Accord in 2015. Public perception influenced by past disasters. There's a huge industry of people who work, and when you call it in, this is how you pronounce it, in Ukraine, it's Chernobyl. It's unusual when you see that. You know, you're, you're in a disconnect. And campaigns from organizations like Greenpeace have been a barrier to the adoption of nuclear power. Despite it being one of the safest and least polluting forms of electricity, according to the data, Governments are pumping new funding in nuclear energy with 486 reactors either planned, proposed, or under construction worldwide. 486 reactors planned. They're counting these uh, fabled small modular reactors that don't even exist, by the way. I've never heard that number before either. I'm at this seven days a week and after week after week after year after year after year i've never heard of that number 
This is now a concerted effort to change the global. There is now a concerted effort to change the global public perception of nuclear power. A concerted effort. There is now a concerted effort to change the global public perceptions of nuclear power by pretending that the reactors didn't melt down, that the inventories are contained, and that nothing got out on the tritium. And this is absurd betrayal. This is an absurd betrayal we're talking about. I believe it's a billion dollars now they got for this public campaign. All the media wants to chunk it a pie. We have done extensive research expeditions. Species to your left are exterminated due to Fukushima's radioactive fallout. None of the models of the fallout are for tritium. This is of xenon-133. This model is neptunium-239. Nuclear industry has wiped out the species on the west coast of North America, but Canada to Alaska. We, these species are exterminated due to Fukushima. They're exterminated. Extect carbon-free, they're talking about is extermination of all the species. Not only that, the food in 14 of the prefectures are highlighted for you. To your left is banned by 55 countries for over a decade, yet they continue to grow food right alongside the one-ton bags of radiation. A kilogram of that can give you leukemia or up to 1,800 diseases. One of them or many of them can show up. This is another model, not of tritium, but of plutonium fallout. Like they actually had all the media pretending they're in the building to your left that doesn't even exist. After we've done all these research expeditions, and we've done a year after year, four to five months at a time without coming home, demonized and vilified and smeared, marginalized and attacked the entire time. It was brutal what they'd done to my reputation. The species to your left are exterminated. That's a fact. And it's def they won't even admit it, despite me doing it for six years. They actually arrested me and gave me gag orders for three and a half years at a time. The fallout covered the entire planet. You got to wake up. You don't got no time left. It's time. It's okay. You got to fight back. It's important to be honest. For goodness sakes, they can't defeat the truth. And the truth is so incomprehensible for a lot of people, it's better to pretend it doesn't exist. But we don't have that luxury. Like there's 8 million species don't have the luxury of you staying silent. This is your responsibility. This is your watch. You are obligated. It's your obligation. You have no right to remain silent. And I provide you with a ridiculous amount to get you up to speed. And hopefully the world comes to its senses and fights for the future of everything, including the scumbags themselves, because that's the only way we can have a future. Silence is not an option. Um, lying is definitely not an option. I'm going to show you a bunch more of the lies, because <laughs> that's pretty easy. That's what you do. Every story is just trying to find the truth on your own. Um, it was a nightmare. Lucky me, I was at a line before Fukushima. There is now a concerted effort to change the global public perception of nuclear power, change the perception of reality. There is no reactor three, there is no reactor four. You can't contain something that don't exist. You better start fighting. There's people that are 
protesters out there that are gluing themselves to the pavements. Uh, they got all the people worked up on, to attack people like me and you. All right, and to promote nuclear. And uh, that's who they're going to promote too, is those who regurgitate the line. I'm banned by uh, computer hackers from live streaming on Rumble and YouTube. Not by YouTube and Rumble, but by hackers from the nuclear industry. A campaign on the 24th, when they allegedly were going to start dumping the water, is the day they, they drove me off the internet for live streaming. Now, governments and international organizations are once again viewing nuclear power as a key to a green future, but will it achieve the popular backing of the public in this assessment? Under the Paris Agreement, and look, I love the French people, but the French government is more on monsters. And what they've done there, the so-called Paris Agreement, was about promoting nuclear. France gets its uranium from Niger. In order to get the cheap uranium, they destroyed every life in Niger. An endless civil war. They, they overthrow, had the government overthrown by entities that didn't have the will or the ability, and they supplied them with both so that they can get their hands on cheap uranium. It's really, truly the, a sign of something evil when you see that kind of a legacy because their children got the same jobs their children got the same jobs <clears throat> and the current generation is, feels that they're so entitled to snuff out the rest of us and in a position to do it because there is no opposition they got no one to pick on they really don't and I should know the annual Constipated Parties, Conference of Parties, U, which is UN, Climate Summit, where, uh, what was it last year? It was like 25,000 leaders were forced to go there. And um, it's really like something out of a, a fictional Hollywood nightmare. And it's been going on since Hiroshima and Nagasaki. To achieve the goals, the governments must rapidly develop their clean energy. Rapidly. Uh, they don't need to develop anything. Geothermal exists and is usable everywhere. It's everywhere. There's 2 billion times more energy under your feet than we currently use on the entire planet. You don't need storage. You just need the will. It's simple technology. It's very easy to implement and is way easier uh, currently than it ever was before. Until battery storage becomes more widely developed, why wouldn't you use compressed air technology? You dig mine shafts and just compress air down there. Or you can use what they call water batteries where you create two reservoirs and you pump extra energy, you pump the water up. So when the sun's not shining, the wind's not blowing, and you would use both of them. But why would you use them when you can use geothermal? Or use a mix. But always have geothermal. It's guaranteed base load energy. Many of the arguments against nuclear power are stuck in the past. Of course, nuclear industry couldn't exist with the truth. If you had a real debate, if you brought me, for instance, on TV to have a real debate, there's no way they can win. As soon as the debate's over, everybody worldwide is going to be screaming, these people are monsters. Because they are. They're unequivocal. It's unassailable that these are monsters. And uh, the incredible education, but zero common sense. They're the results of endless inbreeding 
and assuming that somebody in a um, position like that is somehow a good person. In addition, nuclear waste storage facilities are highly protected against earthquakes, tornadoes, and other potential disasters. Evil comes in so many shapes and sizes. Uh, it shocks me even today after all this time. Nuclear, uh, nuclear storage is a few rods. It's not that you got nothing to do. And the problem with nuclear waste is it's still splitting atoms into the environment. And if it's just the first time you've ever been here, that'll be the first time you've ever heard that. So a reactor that boils water for a million homes do it by splitting atoms. You can put 200 million atoms in the head of a needle, but you can't see it, and each one can hurt you. How many does it take to boil a glass of water, and how many does it take to boil water for a million homes and businesses and organizations, corporations each day? And then once you take it out of containment, it's no containment. You put it in a pool, it's still splitting the atoms. That's why you have the tall stacks. And that's why all nuclear power plants are surrounded by farms or water to whisk away the perpetual disease factories, radioactive fallout, that's hemorrhaging out of the fuel pools every day. And then that insult to injury, the quote, environmental progress is. Michael Schellenberg, of all people, a notorious pro-nuclear lobbying group that literally sold his mother's soul over and over and over. Experts believe air pollution from fossil fuels is responsible for an estimated 7 million deaths per year. Now, that, that number came out a couple of years ago to promote nuclear. But James, James Hansen was the widely accepted narrative of around 29,000 people a year worldwide die sooner than they would have from particulates. But basically, that was where they put gas, oil, and coal plants in particular in the community where you couldn't get away from it. And those same people, if they had to move 20 miles away from the source of the pollution, would have been fine. And the reason they put it in the city is to promote nuclear later. See? They think far down the road. Government and international organizations worldwide must now focus on changing the public perception to gain support for clean energy and ensure its place in the future. So governments and organizations around the world must now focus on changing the public's perception and get their support for nuclear, is what you, they just said. And the only way you can do that is people like environment. That's, env that's environmental progress obviously wrote the story, not Bradstock, the cunt. People convinced the Simpson writers are from the future after creepy predictions. And the media likes to do stuff like this to you where they'll... They'll talk about what's really going on, but then they'll mess the shit out of it. It's pointless. The Simpsons was there to promote nuclear power and get you to accept they were evil in increments over your life. And they've been they've been going for thirty six years. So even somebody that's fifty years old in their early twenties uh, would have been consumed by that because that was shoved down everybody's throat all the time, right? And the idea, like, if you look at the opening footage of the Simpsons where Homer has a fuel rod in his hood and it throws it out of the car. Like, this is a lethal dose immediately to be exposed to a fuel rod like that. And the idea was to make people incapable of comprehending the danger by repeatedly downplaying it, misrepresenting it. Taking the measures of the earthquake destroyed that destroyed Tokyo a century on. So they knew a century ago that building a nuclear power plant there would be stupid when it finally showed up. They had the legacy 3,000-year history of tsunamis, let alone earthquakes. They have 1,000 earthquakes, serious earthquakes each year. Why would, you, why would you build a nuclear power plants 
with some of the biggest, the most reactors on site, like the Daini plant and the Fukushima plant, the, the twins, right across 30 miles away, 40 kilometers away from a tectonic plate that you know is going to drop. You really think that was an accident? They built it in that position. Oh, God, he had this story here. Generation Z rebels planning a Greenpeace counterattack. It's really something, eh? Remember, I just read your story about that governments and organizations need to promote nuclear. And so if they find anybody out there that's promoting nuclear, they're going to they're gonna put them on the megaphone, on the pedestal, and get them out there. <coughs> it's cheaper than creating them. But that's what they're doing. Lots of that. Surrounded by fake nuclear waste barrels, a four-meter-long sculpture was placed in the center of Berlin by Greenpeace to celebrate the end of nuclear power. You know how many times Greenpeace has showed you this picture here? Not a single time. Not once. You know how many times Greenpeace showed you a picture of Reactor 3 and 4 together? Not a single time. Not anywhere on the planet is Greenpeace showed you this and said, look, they, sh they might as well plow everything to the ground. There's nothing left. Today, the charities, bosses are the ones being labeled dinosaurs and a role with younger climate activists, climate activists. And their job is to demonize everything but nuclear, which is what they're doing, right? Uh, climate activists over their old-fashioned, unscientific attitude towards nuclear power. So they're pretending that didn't happen. That's the only way they can have this campaign. Right, and, and this idiot, put simply, we tr trust the science. Our real enemy isn't nuclear energy. The petition launched this week by La and Stude, an 18-year-old from Sweden, calls on Greenpeace to end its opposition to the atomic energy, which she says is no longer morally or politically justifiable. So... They're denying the building looks like that. Everybody should take a screen capture. Look up this stupid little bitch from Sweden, this moron, and send pictures of that and this of where the fuel pool would be. And ask them to show you, draw a picture, and send it back to you of where is the fuel pool. And if they can find it, you'll join their movement. The dispute highlights a growing fissure within the climate activists. No, this is completely artificial narrative you're reading here from the medias. And it works on a lot of people. With campaigners split over whether nuclear power should be embraced or reviled as an alternative. So they're leaving it up to you instead of trust the science. Uh, on, on top of that, they're not willing to show you that. So why not show you stuff like that? And then I ask you to make up your mind. She said, my generation will have to live with the consequences of climate, which is caused by 80 years of emissions. Let me explain it to you. Let me explain it. Hopefully. There we go. This model is based, I'm going to show you, is 30 days. But think of this as a snowstorm that never goes away. So here comes the snowstorm. Right out of the blue, on March 11th, the snowstorm started. And this is about 15 days in. And this is about 20 days in, right here. And so... Now you got a snowstorm covering the entire planet, but think of the snow never melting and it never stops snowing. Instead of calling it snow, think of each snowflake as radiation. And it never melts, it never goes away, it never stops coming out, it never stops 
interacting with everything. You can't avoid eating it, drinking it, breathing it, touching it, but you can't perceive it. You can't hear it or feel it or taste it or pick it up or whatever. No, consciously, but you pick it up because it assimilates into every facet of your life and poisons you. And the toxicity is two billion times more toxic than industrial poison. You got to wake up. You got to fight back. You got to get educated. You got to speak up. You got to become active. You, you got to raise the alarm. You don't have an option. You don't have a better option. There isn't, you can't ignore it. It's not going away. You are, it's not. That's what this is all about. It's fight back or die. Put simply, we trust the science. <laughs> trust the science. Watch the news. Watch the news. Watch the news. Trust the science. I gotta read it because it's just gonna get pissed off. So, trust the science. They're raising money to launch a counterattack by hiring their own lawyers, and they'll get every nickel they need. Every nickel. In fact, and the lawyer go, I'll take it for free. You keep the money and make all kinds of placards. You wonderful little pro nuclear scum, you. Nuclear waste is so regulated. My generation can figure out the science of how to manage that at a later date. Because they're better than everybody for the last 80 years. My generation will figure we need we need it. Michael Schellenberg told us so. Look, speaking of scum, Michael Schellenberg, remember a little piece of shit puppet isodope? Man, her parents should be sent to the gulag for not fucking having an abortion on that one. To her tens of thousands of followers. She still only got about 30,000, which was the initial rush from the pro-nuclear industry, right? Pro-nuclear industry doesn't have a single, not a single person that the world says, you know, that's a pretty nice guy, pretty nice girl. Not a single person. So they're always, they're using Elon Musk and degenerate genocidal Bill Gates as their poster childs and a random useful idiot like this decrepit piece of shit. She calls herself the world's first nuclear energy influencer. What a fucking idiot. She's collaborated online with the skank, Gracie Skank, uh, which is the current Miss America. We've covered her lots of times. This is skanky. And this is just 170th of the Sizewell site in the United Kingdom. They're using enough cement to build a sidewalk to roam them back. It's the biggest construction project on the planet in history. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's carbon-free. It needs dedicated for the rest of its life to gas, oil, or coal plants. And they usually use coal because it's cheaper, right? And there's nuclear, nuclear, notorious scum, so that won't be any difference. Workers are still cleaning up the former site of Sellafield. It's melted down in 1959 at the mixed oxide fuel facility there. There's 8 million liters a day hemorrhaging to the ocean. They managed to get completely out of everybody's narrative. They didn't even announce the meltdown. They told everybody, no, 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 bring your children to school. It's all safe. Researchers find the remnants of nuclear waste and sea turtles. What a piece of shit whoever wrote this. What a disgusting parasite whoever done the study on this. Oh, yeah, Conrad from the University of New Mexico. And if you take a paper clip and, deny, and divide it a million times, 
If you take that million piece of that and divide it another million times, that's the quantity they're talking about in the shells. So now they're saying nuclear fallout is like metal from a paper clip. Look, you can put 200 million isotopes on the head of a needle, but you can't see it. You can put 200 million isotopes on the head of a needle, but you can't see it. But each isotope can trigger a disease or cancer in you because your body attacks it for the rest of your life with white blood cells to try to fix it, contain it rather. And because it pulses energy at the speed of light every second, it's wrecking your chromosomes, your DNA, and your cells every second in a circumference, a symmetrical circumference around it. And your body has to repair all of that too, every single second. So to conflate that with a paper clip and to call yourself a human at the same time. Really, Conrad? You really think you have any attributes as a human? It's such a, like calling you a low life doesn't do it justice because you're actually just a scumbag. You know the difference, right? You're just doing it to be a scumbag because that's what you are. Your parents were scumbags. Their parents were scumbags. Their parents were scumbags. And you ain't going to be any different. Fukushima wastewater hysteria distracts from the real threats to the Pacific Ocean. David Dodwell. What a... And I apologize because it gets to me. I see all these well-positioned people and they go a, way above and beyond in order to cut your throat. Like it's, it's disappointing that people like that are put on a, any platform, let all of them. Yeah, really something that they hate your guts so much. People around the Pacific are concerned about reducing the ocean pollution, but the tritium, the tritium, tritium, from Fukushima is far from the most pressing issue. The tritium, the tritium, the tritium. These models of radioactive fallout, by the way, are not of tritium. Or anything with the word tritium in it. There's xenon-133, will burn a hole through your lungs, sequester in your bones, and mutate the stem cells of your children and your friends and your families, and you. And you can imagine what it's going to do to the birds and the insects and all the other species that is apparently invisible to everybody but me and you. Tritium. This was a mixed oxide, 194 billion that doesn't even exist. Dawson, who's uh, David Dawson, is a very prestigious position. Tritium. Not uranium, plutonium, curium, americium, neptunium, strontium, but tritium. And water. And water. Being released into the ocean for Fukushima is not among them. Putting aside some shameless scaremongering, scare, you're scaremongering if you're going to acknowledge detonations, nuclear meltdowns, and radioactive fallout. Now you're just a scaremongering. And, and shameless. Alarmist. The alarmist contagion has surged across South Korea and the chinks and even Hong Kong. Over the release of Fukushima water it illustrates one thing more than anything our generally appalling ability to rationally evaluate environmental risks our communities face. Our communities face. And like what he'd done in this whole article is disturbing. He, obviously, he knows the harm and he's doing everything he can to convince you, whoever's foolish enough to read his article. Uh, to believe his version that it's only tritium and it's not harmful. That's his version. At best, the ignorance leaves us unfocused on the true dangers to our health. There's nothing more scarier than followed 
because it's a billion times more toxic than industrial poison. So how can there be anything scarier than that? At worst, it might it result in the misdirection of billions of dollars to problems that involve negligible or non-existent risk at the expenses of the funds being directed to tackle the major environmental challenges that threatens our health and livelihoods worldwide. Well, the only thing that threatens our lives worldwide can be is radioactive fallout. That's the only thing that, and a big, heavy, normal pollution doesn't travel very far. Anthropogenic man-made is the only models where you're going to see plumes covering the entire planet. And that plume, by the way, is only 19.5 days. And it's only based on uh, venting. It's not based on the actual nuclear meltdowns and the loss of the reactor cores and the fuel pools. We get this, this we get this, like, we were born in this time. This is, we should, you should feel privileged to fight this. You should be thrilled to be in this fight against this kind of evil. We are facing the evil humanity has never experienced before. And uh, obviously we'll never experience again because it'll wipe us all out. It is worth remembering that up until the 1975 London Convention, our oceans are regarded as dumping grounds. Yeah, but a nuclear industry, which I've covered intensive um, presentations for hours at a time, and a, and a vicious dumping from the nuclear industry into the oceans. Up to 1972, oceans were quite, quite literally garbage dumps, millions of tons of heavily metal chemical contaminants. Thousands of containers of radioactive waste were purposely thrown into the ocean. The British were one of the worst. They spent 30 years taking their nuclear waste straight out and throwing it off a boat in prime fishing grounds, in shallow water, in prime fishing grounds. And when the drums get down a couple of hundred feet, they implode right away because you're talking about around 14, almost 15 pounds per square inch every 33 feet. So when they get down around 200 feet, they're going to crumble and release all that radiation. It's so, it's so sinister and because they, they knew that's, that's the result. It's so sinister, it just defies that it happened. It, like, it's hard to comprehend people who were that evil even back then because it's a, you're destroying everybody's future, period. And you, the base is the food chain, the oxygen chain, the carbon sequestering chain, the boot. And you've done it. It's, just, it's a 100% success rate. There's no way back. But that doesn't mean we walk away. That don't mean we give up. That don't mean we don't fight. That don't mean we don't try. And with the more people that are aware of the issue, the more likely you are to come up with a solution. And there's going to be solutions, but you can't turn the clock back on what they've done. But you can turn the clock on the future, what they're going to do. And if you believe, if you just sit complacently or, or, or silently, in this one opportunity, because everybody has a, a platform to speak on. You don't have, it's, I don't expect people to come up and do it. I'm, I'm different, I'm doing live, I was, was doing live uh, news shows to get this into the nerve, I was out doing research expeditions. You just gotta come out with 30, 40 second clips once in a while that nuclear done this or nuclear done that. And you haven't got to change the mind of everybody. You've got to change the mind of the policymakers, the investors, and that's the ones that are looking for this stuff. She only got five views. Yeah, but one of them was probably a policymaker, or the Sally Ann, and they ended up watching it. The dangers arising from the tritium and the few uh, Shima discharges are almost laughably insignificant. So they're saying that that's insignificant. That's the Dodson, right? It's, it's incomprehensible that somebody would say something like that. And, and of course, they're, he's, he's talking about tritium in order to keep that narrative. And then, they're, of all people, they're 
as their evidence for bringing in the notorious scum brothers from Australia, Tony Irwin, says nuclear plants worldwide routinely discharge water contain, containing tritium. So he's claiming that didn't happen. He's claiming that didn't happen. He's claiming this, this never happened. And he's claiming that even if it did happen, the only thing that got out was tritium. This is a university. You know, the 10 times more tritium falls as rain in Japan every year than will be discharged from Fukushima. Well, he can't contain the tritium, for starters, the real tritium from nuclear plants. It seeps out constantly from the pipes themselves, from all the seals and everywhere else. You can't contain it. And it's not harmless. And then only acknowledge in tritium, really. Or take Nigel Marx. We've heard these names quite a lot at the current university in Perth, Western Australia. So like your, your professors, your universities are literally humanity's worst enemies. And by the way, these are the school of mass destructions that created this technology in the first place, right? Nigel Marx noted 8,400 grams pure tritium occurs naturally in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, but that's tritium. That's not tritium 3H from man-made. You can't conflate the two of them. Compared with the Fukushima release, which will amount to 0 0.06 grams per year. So they're saying 0 0.06 will get out of there, or 2.2 grams, and only 0 0.6 grams of it is released from the 1,000 tanks every year. But there's nothing left. Unit 1, Unit 2 was gone in a flash, in a millionth of a second. The plumes covered the planet in about 20 days. He said, a lifetime's worth of seafood caught just a few kilometers from the multiple nuclear meltdowns outlets has the tritium, tritium equivalent of one bite of a banana. Like people like that, should be lose their degree immediately. There's no reason that Nigel Merck shouldn't have uh, thousands of people protesting at that university tomorrow morning saying, get that piece of fucking shit away from my kids, that disgusting fucking parasite away from my kids. But no, people are so well indoctrinated, they'll, they'll thank them. Those who rush to take salt off supermarket shelves because they bought into the deceit and dishonesty and lies like people like him as protection against tritium, but do well to recall that a large number of fresh foods, not just bananas, and how often in the last, the first couple of years, I beat the shit out of every person that ever said the word bananas, and we barely heard of it in the last 10 years. Pretty rare to hear anybody say bananas. But carrots and potatoes and red meat and Brazilian nuts and even beer are radioactive because of potassium-40. Like you, you can't equate potassium-40 with anthropogenic man-made radiation marks. And so that university should be held accountable for that. Somebody sued them for several billion dollars and then destroy the university when they win. Oh, hang on. Let me explain that potassium remark. Let me explain that remark. Hopefully, here we go. So, a beck wall is atomic disintegration every second, and an atom will pulse that energy almost at the speed of light every second for up to millions of years. A curry is 37 billion disintegrations per second. So cesium has 88 curries, 88 times 37 billion. 
And strontium-90 has 140 curries per gram, which is 140 times 37 billion pulses of energy at the speed of light every second forever. So potassium has 0 0.000071, 71 10 millionths of a curry per gram. Seventy-one ten millionths of a curry per gram. So for them to claim that the stuff from the nuclear meltdowns has any any equivalence of potassium forty, when there are actually seventy-one ten millionths of curries per gram for potassium versus uh, 5.4 trillion atoms per gram for man-made. It's disappointing that they're allowed to be a human. It should also be alert to the fact that cat litter is radioactive enough to set off airport radiation alerts. What a freak is cat litter that radioactive, I wonder? That's, what a disgusting industry after poisoning everybody's cats. In short, on any scale of risk, we should pause to recognize that there are thousands of greater threats to face us every day than tritium. Tritium. Why do worry over Japan's nuclear waste plan? France has done it for decades. Even a brief examination of leading risk and of priorities for actions tells us tritium is not on the list. Tritium. So everybody so far today has ignored uranium, plutonium, americium, neptunium, strontium, you name it, and only acknowledged barely at that, and not officially, but uh, natural tritium is called tritium. Man-made tritium is called tritium-3H. Our political leaders should be focusing on the many real urgent threats rather than playing petty geopolitical games. And David Dodwell is CEO of the Trade Policy International Relations Consultancy Strategic Access Focus on Development and Challenges Facing the Asian Pacific over the past four decades. And he didn't write the article. But he took great pleasure in stabbing your fucking children to death. Because that's with billions of atomic decays. It's the farthest thing from a human you'll ever meet. And on to the next scumbag. It never stops around here, unfortunately. Tokyo shoppers buy Fukushima product to support region at the center of the nuclear water row. Uh, so now they're claiming Tep Tokyo, which is a nuclear wasteland, is buying Fukushima nuclear food to support this. Like, you can't believe anything the fucking media tells you. Huh? It gives you crazy if you do. I apologize for not flying down and kicking the shit out of these people. But... Um, Calm down in my elder years, so to speak, as I got older. I was a little shocked at how evil nuclear is. I never get, I'm sorry, that's the wrong way to put it. Uh, um, I never, I never cease to be shocked at how evil the nuclear industry actually is, and the pro-nuclear bootlickers actually are. It's really, it's really, it's contempt. It's absurd contempt. I can walk you right across Japan. With the documented radioactive fallout and is frightening the real numbers. Over 4,000 becquerels a kilogram 
in the dust after fog. It never disappeared. These are these are runaway now numbers, by the way. Forty thousand, forty millisieverts, forty thousand microsieverts per hour at a supermarket. These are absurd numbers. These these are literally absurd numbers, and so to suggest that Tokyo shoppers are buying it right from the nuclear wasteland because they don't know any better is ridiculous. South Korea activists criticized Seoul for banning rallies over Japan's Fukushima water release. South Korea activists criticized so- Seoul banned, now Seoul, which is South Korea, capital of South Korea, uh, um, the president is pro-nuclear, so is the administration, the current itineration of the administration in South Korea. The previous administration was vehemently anti-nuclear. So there's been hundreds of thousands of people in protest, and the media pretty well silenced it for most of them. Some of them reported on it. A lot of them were just silent. South Korea activists criticizes anybody from rallying over the water releases. So they're pretending it didn't happen. This is what they're reporting on it, right? And the people that are protesting, the media is not going to show them that. Because that would uh, vindicate them, right? So they got to, this is what they've done. They wanted them to do this. They wanted everybody to start screaming tritium instead of nuclear meltdowns and 12 years of emissions. No, what they're doing is they're worried about what might happen instead of what has been nonstop lethal to all the species and their loved ones for 12 years straight. And this is only two of the buildings. There's four of the freaking buildings and eight fuel pools that are actually gone, the inventories. These were pure uranium, pure plutonium. South Korean activists criticized Seoul's attempt to ban rallies following the latest protests over the releases of Japs' wastewater from Fukushima into the sea. Blah, 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 blah. Suppressing the human right to assemble and demonstrate. No, the controversy is on purpose. It probably worked better than they wanted it to. The government has now attempted to revise the enforcement ordinance to create another legal basis to ban rallies so freedom of cell assembly is banned right in front of the president's office where the president is shouting for freedom is working. And so they, they were artificially hyped to do that, but to protest tritium. Don't protest the real stuff. And tritium's brutal, but it's, you got to remember that's the very last isotope you're worried about, and you're still worried about it. The police, the morons who don't hold the industry accountable, suppressed the sit in at the embassy, tried to silence the voice of dissatisfaction, even though they know 85% of the people are against the release. But it, like, it's been going on for, for 12 years. It's not what might happen. This has been going on for 12 years. Why, why, aren't you, why don't you have placards of that? And this is what I mean. We should have... Right, you know, a normal operation, we would have sent thousands of placards of this to South Korea activists. We would have defeated the nuclear industry if the world would stand alongside of anybody that was trying. We could have defeated them. But anybody that's trying is ostracized and demonized and vilified and smeared and left to fend for themselves. I got lucky, I got a couple of dozen people that follow this stuff, and that's enough to keep. Uh, you know, we asked barely enough to keep the operation alive. But we're alive, and we're busy as shit. Uh, all I'm saying is imagine if a big foundation threw the money at me that I need to do this right. We could have research expeditions all over the place, getting reports from them every single day and updates on the, the missing species. We can have... Um, a huge presence in social media, we can have advertisement, and we can legally attack the industry through the courts. We can legally 
send placards to all the protesters worldwide, which is something that uh, I'm very passionate about is having a future. I know that, I know that sounds crazy. It's crazy talk, I know. But you'll come around. South Korean activists has criticized South Korea's attempt to ban the rallies. Blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. We already done that, I think, didn't we? On to the next greatest, best lawyer of the day. Japan Prime Minister tries fish from Fukushima. That's an act of desperation. Oh, look at me. I'm eating fish. I'm safe, yeah? As soon as he gets out of the camera. He's not eating fish from Fukushima, folks. I'm just kidding you. So is he. That's the problem. Seafood is still safe. So Korea launches national campaign. Campaign against what might happen instead of what's been going on for 12 years. I'm just a little bit shocked. Let me explain to you another way, maybe. This is a 16-day model of follow from Japan. This is 16 days after the tsunami, not the meltdowns. This is 10 days after, nine days after the nuclear meltdown when it stops. The whole planet is covered. And you notice I have Fukushima radioactive fallout is global warming. It was a pulse event that covered the entire planet would, and never stopped coming out with perpetual. This was the tipping point of 80 years of emissions because there was so much. This was equal to all the nuclear meltdowns combined and, and many, many times more in a single event. And the media has worked relentlessly to make you incapable of comprehending. This is the, truly the most important story in history is, is those reactors. There's four of them and eight fuel pools. And I apologize, I only show you these two. I really should reinforce the other reactors and I don't. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm gonna have to fix that at some point. Reactor one also. <laughs> Reactor two melted down, reactor three melted down in the fuel pools, reactor four melted down in the fuel pools. Reactor four melted down. I was supposed to do a lot of post-production, uh, but we had people on quads and lawnmowers all day sitting in the studio for hours waiting to record the show. I was fighting with some equipment for about an hour. And I, I don't know what to do sometimes. I can't keep up with it. So I just break it down into pieces and keep trying, right? But um, you know, I, I should have five people working for me. I should have a sound person. Should have somebody doing the audio videos or the audio specifically of all the you know clips and everything else. You should have somebody else dedicated. Shouldn't be I shouldn't be doing any clickers, you should be just telling the story. And that's what you typically would have with equipment. I got is five people would run the equipment. They would be in a separate room. And we, we would do like a practice show, and then we would do the real show. The South Korean activists criticized Seoul's attempt, and then there would be a post-production where they would insert um, anything, right? They just I'm gonna I'm gonna get to my own because we don't have any other options, right? There's no one coming to help us, and so if we don't deal with it. 
We got no hope. We can. They might show up, but they're probably not going to. You got to have a conversation at some point about the subject. F flying kites is cool, but the clock is ticking, right? Sorry, obviously I'm getting screwed up here today. I'll stop it and grow up here. Here we go. Not necessarily in that order, but here we go. I was looking for a picture of Reactor 2 before I moved on, but where they killed my hard drive on the 24th, same day they took me off the live stream by uh, computer hacks. A lot of my material is missing from my go-to um, pages in my sessions. That has taken years and years to perfect. I forgot about it again today. I'm going to have to sit here in the studio for a couple of days and just find everything re-imported so we got it at our fingertips. But first, before I do anything, I'm going to show you show you Reactor 1. Um, I'm just gonna show, there it is, Reactor 2. Because we're always talking about the Reactor 3 and 4, but not very much about Reactor 1 and 2. They're all incredible meltdowns, right? You have to check it out constantly for several days. Just keep rolling here. I already covered all that. How'd they end up back there? There we go. We'll get there. Next one. Jan received approval. Jan. Dana. <laughs> Japan received approval from the United Nations International Atomic Energy Agency earlier this year to release the treaty. No, they didn't. J International Atomic Energy Agency, which is a subsidy. It's like saying McDonald's gave them approval. It's a corporation, just like McDonald's. And they're just part of a global corporation that was previously known as the League of Nations, currently known as the United Nations. And they're united in misery and diseases and death and destruction and weapons of mass destruction. That's all they're united in. They're not united in the future. They wrecked that. And they're the shadow government worldwide. It's known as UN. Japan's government should be charged with ecocide. No, it should be charged with omnicide. And this is a, a Chinese think tank. So their idea is to promote the tritium, same as Taiwan and South Korea. South Korea and China has been the most vocal in promoting the, the fable, besides Japan themselves, and Australia, surprisingly. Chinese experts have called for efforts to study whether it's possible to prosecute those responsible for the reckless plan. So, like, how can you call something that's been going on for over 12 years a reckless plan to future releases instead of actual releases? This is, like, two days later. It's actually gone, Reactor 3. And this is 2013, there's no reactor four or fuel pools. So all four buildings lost their reactor cores. Reactor four had half a reactor core. They were doing a fuel change up, which is usually less than half the reactor core is taken out. So where did that reactor core go? Well, it blew up, Dana. It melted down, Dana to dump the Fukushima nuclear contaminated wastewater into the ocean. This is all a present. This is not the past tense at the time, but the future tense. According to a recent report by Chinese think tank, the global governance. Why would you name a global government? That's which is UN, right? Institute. Very disappointed. Very, very disappointed in you global governance, as the dumping of the nuclear contaminated wastewater into the ocean, by the way, which never stopped, not begins, but it never stopped. What part about the building, see what, the pieces of the building that they left should have been razzed to the ground. There's nothing left there. Why wouldn't you 
completely destroy that all the way to the ground? Why would you leave anything there in Reactor 4? And why would you leave anything in Reactor 3? When the reactor fuel pools and reactor cores are at the top of the building, why would you leave that piece there? So you can put a cover over it and pretend you're getting fuel out of the pool. That's what they've done. They should have been leveled with the ground. There's nothing left. Insist on dumping the nuclear contaminated wastewater into the ocean, which will have an, if they do it, see, this is all about conjecture, an impact on health and environment of all mankind. Well, what about the 8 million species? Just Sophie's, Ari, and Huber's pompous prick. In order to protect the interests of all mankind, prevent irreversible damage to the world's ecosystem, too late for that, the research expeditions I showed you earlier clearly shows you blew that friggin' disaster sky high. Tokyo Tribunal in the Field of Environmental Protection after World War II. Again, like they're relying upon the United Nations as the so-called rule of law. The United Nations is the biggest breaker of that rule. They're not supposed to exist. They don't have sovereignty over any country. You're making a fatal mistake by pretending they do. Japan's fishery minister regrets saying Fukushima water is contaminated. Japan's fishery minister apologized Friday for calling the treated radioactive wastewater being released from the wrecked building, which don't even exist, the building should have been rasped to the ground, right? Contaminated. But the opposition block urging him to step down for not lying for the nuclear industry. So when the head of the fishery, when the fishery minister can't call it contaminated without being asked to step down, you don't have a society at all. You have nothing. You have a corporation dictating your future and destiny of your country. And that, that is literally the stupidest, stupidest ideology you could ever be associated with. Came as Prime Minister from Miro Ishida government has been striving to dispel reputational damage striving to dispel reputation damage from buildings that don't exist. So they're, they're striving to pretend this never happened. BBC, which is the disgusting British government, they're disgusting. Why, like, we can't have, we got to get rid of media. And that's probably one of the scary statements imaginable. Is you're going to... You know, like they're a threat to humanity and the future of the 8 million species is your media. A journalist is somebody you should hate. You can't blame somebody for spitting in the face of a journalist. You really can't. How can you blame them? They're just disgusting. They're, like what else would you do? You, you wouldn't shake your fucking hand, would you? China's anger at Japan is fueled by disinformation. So it's disinformation is, pretend that didn't happen. That's disinformation for Reactor 3. Disinformation, pretend Reactor 4 doesn't look like that. That's disinformation. So here's the BBC inciting its own population to believe China is mistaken, that the buildings didn't melt down, they're, they're not destroyed. That's what the BBC is doing with that narrative right there. Rocks thrown at schools, threats of a boycott, hundreds of hostile phone calls. Well, imagine what happens if the pictures actually come out, people realize what took place. It's gonna be billions of people throwing rocks. Oh, Jesus, that would be so awesome. The catalyst, Japan's release of the treated wastewater from the damaged Fukushima plant into the sea. So treated, do you really think they treated something from buildings that don't exist anymore? 
And do you think these buildings are damaged or, or that they don't even exist anymore? Because it makes a difference. It actually does. Scientists largely agree the impact will be negligible. But that's because they're refusing to acknowledge the buildings lost any inventories and they're only talking about tritium. And disinformation has only fueled fear and suspicion. The report up by a UK-based data analyst company called Logically, which aims to fight misinformation. So they're fighting the misinformation by hiding that and that and the other two reactors that are melted down in the missing fuel pools. And if you're going to do that, the, the major media worldwide will be more than happy to put you on a pedestal. So you got all the medias worldwide working triple time all the time for 12 years to cut your throat. You think that's going to end by you pretending it didn't happen? You're supposed to be the checks and balances on this planet. China itself has had a lot of scandals regarding food safety. Like anything. There's nothing they won't say to discredit you or anybody else. And they've already done to me, so I couldn't care. A restaurant in Shanghai, in an apparent effort to profit off the hysteria, advertised anti-radiation needles. But Aaron claims of reducing skin damage and cell regeneration. Anti-radiation needles. <laughs> we lost our planet to nothing but scum. The worst kind of scum is pro-nuclear. They're the worst scum. Stop the Japs, Fukushima nuclear wastewater. Well, ain't you the useful idiot? Look at you. Bless your heart. So, like, they're only promoting, and that's all we see, is people that are talking about tritium. Anybody with an actual narrative is excluded from society. China's anger over Fukushima water is part of the plan. It's, they're totally working together. There's zero possibility China does know it looks like that. It's zero. That's zero possibility. It's zero. Zero possibility South Korea doesn't know it looks like that. It's zero possibility. You're being, you're being exterminated, and your children are the most vulnerable. When are you going to stand up? And if you can't stand up, consider supporting me, because i got no problem standing up. Okay, I have a few issues, but legs are getting pretty weak as years go on. In July, International Atomic Energy Agency approved Japan's plan, and it was two years ago, provoking an uproar across Asia. We covered it every step of the way. Provoking uproar across Asia. So you got Taiwan, I'm sorry, you got South Korea, Taiwan, China, and Japan are working together along with Indonesia and Malaysia to hoodwink the Asian population, which is a huge population worldwide. And it looks like they won. Democratic Party of South Korea, the, the uh, leading opposition, to begin a global letter campaign to stop Fukushima water release. And uh, there, there's our shining hope. Stop the tritium release. And so I'm assuming they're working together. I'm assuming they can't be so stupid they don't know what the reactors look like, don't know they're destroyed. Uh, it could be true, but I can't see it. Jeez, that's going to be a big file tonight to convert. This is the 3rd of September, Sunday. We got a live, sh not a live show, but we got a premiere in about three and a half hours. So that'll work out tonight. Tonight we'll be on schedule for the first time in a little over a week since they stopped my ability to stream which we've been doing for over a decade. Democratic Party chief said Sunday he'll send personal letters to leaders of 88 countries 
that are parties to the International Convention on Maritime Pollution, which is United Nations. So you're going to ask all the United Nations that are busy cutting your throats for 12 years to ask Japan to stop something they've been doing for 12 years and they, that they haven't acknowledged and that their only acknowledgement is tritium, which is not even acknowledging because their claim is only 2.2 grams in buildings that no longer exist. And on Thursday, the leader began an indefinite hunger strike. Wow. Over tritium. That's making big rounds in the media. You almost lose hope when you see stuff like that. But um, that's not an option, unfortunately. There's no easy way out. You got to tell. You got to get here. Tell the truth over and over and over. Educate the population, and if the world will just stand up and support me, I'll bash fucking nuclear in one year flat. If I actually had a foundation that would just step up and support me, it's gonna cost a million or two, but I'll ba I'll smash nuclear. It'll be dead in about a six months after. I'll kill it, man. I'll wreck nuclear and everybody involved in it in the lies for the last 12 years or 100 years, I'll wreck them too, permanently. It's easy to do, but you need need the building. You need the money to pull it off, right? Meanwhile, we're still going to do the research. We can never get the truck back. <laughs> I might have an answer tomorrow. Might not. Might. If the mechanic that can do it shows up, I'm going to let go of the transfer case. We got the new actuator showed up. I dropped it off. They're going to let it go, reinstall it, and hopefully that resolves it. And it usually does. The podcast was posted on the Wall Street Journal's website, August 24th. It referenced March 25th, 2011. It was two weeks after the Fukushima disaster. So they're not even talking current stuff. They claimed there was no pollution two weeks later, right? Singapore had found radioactive contamination of vegetable samples from Japan uh, August the 24th, which is referenced from 2011. Is it? I'm confused now. It's, uh, the National Environmental Agency, which is Singapore, Assessed to Japan's planned discharge of the treated radioactive water from Fukushima nuclear plant to the sea is unlikely to impact the seawater in or around Singapore. Well, it's been going on for 12 years straight, for goodness sakes. Pretending it's never happened and it's not going to happen and everything else. is insanity. Right, that's insanity. Again, which is probably the last story of the night, but it looks over. There might be one more there. A fairly long one, this story, but it's kind of short. So the fuel pool reactor goes to the top of the building. That don't exist for reactor four. Reactor three, reactor two, or reactor one. The radioactivity measures continue to remain within the natural background levels. And they're not very far from multiple ongoing nuclear meltdowns as the bird would fly. And there's zero possibility of void of mass radiation. I'll show you why. La La Land is La La Land. Because it's completely dishonest what they're saying. So you had a million beckles of xenon 133 in North America, West Coast. You had a study of 20 million particles per liter of rain fallout. But no, Hong Kong never got none. You had another 220 million atoms per liter of fallout sustained for months. But no, Taiwan got nothing, just natural. Japan had an extra 865,000 cancers in the first year. But Taiwan, I'm sorry, Hong Kong and Singapore and the rest of them got nothing, really. 
You're saying radiation is bigoted? And August 24th, which is the next day they banned me from live streaming on both of my stream medias, to a, um, a hack. They hacked the site. And then when I contacted the site through the little chat room, with several billion people, I had nobody waiting. They were there waiting for me. And I was the only person asking out of several billion people a question on YouTube that day. Thank God I picked that right time. They weren't monitoring me in real time or nothing. Nothing sinister like that, was it? On August 24th, the Japs Authority began, which of course they've never stopped for 12 years, they had 865,000 extra cancers in the first fucking year, discharging, treated, used to cool the damage, the buildings don't even exist anymore, reactors. We covered the planet in radioactive fallout, but there's none anywhere in Asia. Oh, okay. That's, that's pretty convenient. South Korea's opposition leader to reach out to the world leaders against the Japs' Fukushima water release. I'm talking about the Democratic Party again. I'm not going to bore you. I'm just keep yakking away. About the reactors are melted. If I had something to say about tritium, I'd hang out here for a few more hours because that's the only thing anybody is allowed to say. <clears throat> we'll call it quits it here. I spent hours trying to shoot this video and had lawn mowers and quads driving by. It was so loud I had to give up and start again. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. Have a great day and a great night. Hugs for you and your loved ones. Extra hugs for Stephen Young who donated another 50. Bless your heart, Stephen. We'll see everybody tomorrow night on Monday for another update on stupid nuclear. Have a great day, everybody.